Hello friends, welcome to Internet Works. My name is Edgarcy Francis. In this video, we will see the configurations of spanning tree uplink fast. So we will see how it works and uh, what is the benefits of the uplink fast feature. So you can see the topology where we have three switches. Switch where is switch one is our um, the root switch, and the other switches switch two and switch three are non-root. You can see the topology here. Switch one has the uh, two interfaces, two ports. Both are the forwarding state because uh, root and the switch two, which is the non-root, have the two ports. Gigabyte zero slash zero is a root forwarding, and gigabyte zero slash one is designated forwarding. And uh, non-root switch three have two ports. Gigabyte zero slash zero is a root forwarding because it's facing to the root switch and another one is gigabyte one slash zero is an alternative block switch so so that's what we have now switch three using the gigabyte zero slash zero to reach the root bridge what if the port shuts down how long does it take for switch three to make the transitions let's see so first let's see some the configurations okay Okay, let's see show a spanning tree uh, VLAN we are using the VLAN nothing fancy you can see this is the root and you can see the priority over here now let's switch three, uh, switch three. okay do show spanning tree VLAN 1 you can see over here the bridge ID priority okay you can see the gigabyte 0 slash 1 is an alternative block state and the gigabyte 0 slash 0 is in a root forwarding state. Now let's see if the link is uh, shut down gigabyte 0 slash 0 which is the root forwarding state what will happen. Let me debug uh, spanning tree um, events. Okay now the debug is on the configuration terminal and let me <coughs> okay now it's good now interface uh, gigabit uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 shut down what will happen okay you can see gigabyte 0 slash 0 is listening state okay it will take some time okay you will see the topology notice gigabyte 0 slash uh, 1 so it takes time can see now it's a learning state gigabyte 0 slash 1 okay let's wait soon it will be in a forwarding state okay now it's forwarding state you'll see over here now let's cancel the debug command now let's verify show the spanning tree VLAN 1 you will see the gigabyte 0 slash 1 is in a root forwarding state you will see which uh, before it's a alternative block state okay so it takes time first listening state and then learning and after that forwarding so it takes time so now we configure the uplink fast and see what will happen let me put this back the interface gigabyte 0 slash uh, 0 no shutdown okay okay now it's up let me verify show the spanning tree VLAN 1 you'll see it is still in a listening state but uh, okay okay now it's learning state soon it will be in a forwarding state still learning give a 30 seconds so this is the problem with a traditional spanning tree it takes time ok now it's forwarding state now now we configure the uplink fast and before we configuring the uplink fast we have to know something that uh, the uplink fast feature 
switch means uh, switch tree the bridge priority is changed now the switch will never be the root bridge unless uh, we disable the uplink fast so never configure the uplink fast feature on a root switch so this is not a root switch so we are going to configure so before configure you see here the bridge priority you will see okay now so spanning tree uplink fast feature is configured globally not in interface level so inter okay spanning tree uplink fast so that's it now if we verify with uh, that uh, show spanning tree v then you will see the bridge priority will be changed you can see now the bridge priority is changed 49 153 will not become the this switch will not become the root switch okay so now let's uh, shut down again this link and see how much time it take to make this link gigabyte 1 slash 0 in a forwarding state okay first uh, okay debug uh, sparing tree event okay now debug is on okay now interface uh, gigabyte 0 slash 0 shut down okay exit you see the link is shut down and immediately you can see that let me do that Now debug is off. Okay. You see over here. We shut down over here and you see the spanning tree uh, port forwarding uplink VLAN 1 gigabyte 0 slash 1 move to forwarding state uplink fast. Uplink fast. So immediately this link is uh, this links become a uh, forwarding state root forwarding let me show you show a spanning tree vlan 1 you see the gigabyte 0 slash 1 is in a root forwarding state if you want to know more in detail there is a link in the description box i have wrote everything about this topic so you can visit it so i have wrote everything about this topic so you can visit it the link over here So I hope you like this video. If you like, please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.